Well, it's finally here, guys. We're picking up maybe one of the most anticipated fishing kayaks that there's been in a long time. We're picking up the Native Watercraft Titan X 10.5, the smaller edition of the 12.5. We actually picked the boat up about a month ago at Kayak City for their grand release party of the Titan X series. We picked up our 10.5. We drove it right to Ramel's, AKA the Wizards, and he's been working on it for the past month, getting it ready for today, for really the next couple of days. We've got a pretty uh, packed schedule just to give you guys a brief overview of what's going on the next couple of days. Right now it's 3.30, actually about one minute from Ramel's house. And uh, we're gonna be getting the boat, putting it in the back of the truck and we are driving straight to Clear Lake. We had a three hour drive to Clear Lake. We're checking into the Airbnb and we're mainly going up there to get content for this particular boat, not just for myself, but mainly for native watercraft. They actually just flew in our camera guy, Tyler. I think he just landed in Sacramento. So we'll meet up with him later. We've got the one and only, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of him, especially if you're out on the West Coast, Mr. Paul Bailey, AKA Big Bay Bailey, guiding us, providing a bass boat for Tyler and get some content for us. That'll be fun. And that's the next couple of days fishing and filming and really just getting used to this new boat. I'll be honest, and as you guys will see, probably the most changes I've done when upgrading to a different kayak with this particular boat. Electronics wise, steering wise, power wise, there's been some big changes. I'm excited. I know that it'll definitely take a little while to uh, dial everything in, get used to things, but uh, I'm really excited just to get in this boat, try it out, and hopefully uh, slime her up at Clear Lake. So that is the plan. That is the video. It's going to be all over the place, but as always, I will take you guys along for the journey, the process, and you'll see how everything unfolds. All right. <laughs> well, I'll put them in real quick. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my God, is this a spaceship, dude? Uh, it's a lot going on, sir. I can see that. Like all this right here, that's all news for you. Holy for smokes, sure. man! I mean, we won't go through it all right now, but uh, first impressions. Oh, yeah. Crazy. What's this rank on your builds? Of... Oh gosh, it's up there. Not, I don't want to say complexity because it's probably not complex for you, but is Actually, like cool factor. Cool factor. It's up there. This was a uh, this was thing was a lot of fun to to rig out. It came out like super clean. There's some. Oh my goodness. There's some some goodies here. Go for it. This so is... you're you got your network hub in there. And I had to... <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> Freaking wild, man. I don't even know what to say, man. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what to say. So there's things that we should need to go over for yeah. sure. Oh yeah, no, I know. I, I just was saying, this is gonna be a learning curve, a learning process. It it's a lot going on, dude. I think as far as like operating goes, the biggest thing for motor-wise is gonna be foot steering. So I'll have to like get everything fine-tuned and adjusted. All right, folks, we've made it. Are you guys as shocked and as speechless as I am? There it is. I think they are. The only rigged out Titan 10.5X in existence right now. This is the only one. Hopefully it floats too. It hasn't been on the water, so. It floats. It will find out for sure at Clear Lake. Awesome place to find out too. This is like literally spaceship-like. I think this is more tech than you've ever had. You know, I'm getting flashbacks to when I got my first fishing kayak ever. I think a lot of people know this story. I got it for Christmas in 2012, I wanna say. My mom gave it to me for Christmas. Shout out mom. Got that Lifetime Manta off of Amazon and I sat in that thing in my living room yeah. and I thought it was the most badass thing ever. And 11 years later, this is this is it. This, this is a kayak. Where you're at now. This is a fishing kayak now. Wild. I. That is insane, man. It's a bit overwhelming a little just to look yeah. at it, but I think yeah. it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Well, let's, uh, I guess, finish up anything else we need to do. Or... Yeah, just landing gear and just uh, little details now. I yeah. uh, got to figure out where to put the paddles and yeah. paddle clips. and We'll pack everything up and probably figure a lot of that stuff out tomorrow morning at Clear Lake. Yep.
Oh. Hey, what's up, man? Yo. Greg. Tyler. Tyler, nice, nice to meet you, man. Me. Sorry I'm a little late. Ah, no worries. Did you find your way up here yeah. okay? It's all yeah. Good, man. How's the house? It's great. Yeah, we usually stay up here every time yeah. we come. Yeah, I got the water. I mean, yeah, you were here when it was light out, right? Yeah, I got the water right there. I don't know how low the lake is, but usually there's like a little canal back here that's uh, pretty sick. Left my house at like 3.45. Ah, damn. Yeah, because you flew in from... East Coast. Where are you from again? Uh, South Carolina. Really? Oh, no. Was it a direct? Go through Atlanta. Oh, damn. Sorry, dude. These aren't the coldest in the world, but it's better than no beer. That's it. Yeah. Cheers, man. Good to meet you. Cheers, Looking you forward to the next yeah. couple days. Yeah, so the deliverable list is not crazy. No. It's like six to eight minute walkthrough, and then 30 second product hype, and then a bunch of reels. Yeah, so I was thinking first thing in the morning, we get the kayak set up right at that launch. We'll uh, get that like run through, like the walkthrough. And I've got all the notes on my phone too, just like the talking points. Cool. We'll get more footage than we need. Probably have you do it like at least twice. Yeah. Do one wide and then one where you're just pointing and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plugging, unplugging, yeah. opening, and closing and stuff. Are you droning at all or are you just. Oh, fair up. Yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you want to get. Um, it's a pretty scenic little area too. It's got yeah. some like rocky cliffs right there. Maybe if the light's really good when we first get there, you might want to get like some setup shots of like putting rods and reels Definitely. in the kayak before we do the shooting yeah, of the yeah. walkthrough just to like get that good light Definitely. kind of going out in the morning. Yeah, we'll get those shots tomorrow. Both set up and I feel like the rest will be kind of easy or easier. Catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see. It is a little slow right now because it's been so cold. Paul, the guy mm -hmm. I mentioned, he he really wants me to try to grind out a swim bait fish, like a big, big fish. Because if we get bit on the way he wants me to get bit, yeah. it'll be really big. I'm totally down to do like spend majority of our time tomorrow doing that. Yeah. And then if we need to like Wednesday, like, hey man, we haven't caught any fish yet. Like, let's uh, we'll catch try to get some numbers. You know? Yeah, dude, we'll catch them. folks good morning morning man how you doing good how are you good did you expect uh 31 degrees when you came to california a little bit oh did you <laughs> okay well that's good you uh dressed appropriately yeah yeah a little yeah, chilly this morning good. should warm up to about 60 degrees today and yeah there she is right there Got the icing, little cake on the boat, little frost. But she made it throughout the night. She made it here safely in one piece. I was telling Tyler last night, one thing I was worried about coming through uh, Sacramento traffic especially was somebody crumpling this, you know, making it shorter. Because that would uh, ruin a lot of things. But made it safely. Just a little, uh, little frosty, but that's okay. Truck is packed. Everything in here from last night. Yeah, there's just a couple things in there. Now we uh, we've got a busy day ahead of us. It's about 7:15. Got to go to the uh, tackle shop, get stickers, get a few last-minute items, and uh, yeah, then we'll do the product walkthrough. We'll we'll set this up on the blocks, make it look all pretty, rig it out. Hopefully, I can do it, <laughs> and then uh, test her out on the water, make sure everything is functioning well, and then meet up with uh, Paul and get started. You ready, man? Ready. Let's ready. All right. Let's go. I feel like the frost of the car. I think I actually still have an ice scraper from New York somewhere back there. I'm hoping we bang out everything today. Yeah. And then tomorrow is just like bonus shots, fish catching. What's up, man? How are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? Awesome. Got some kayak testing to do today? Yeah, something, how are you? Good. This is Tyler, my Let's camera guy, Tyler. camera guy for today. We've got uh, Paul. Sweet. Helping us out. Yeah, I got the X and the, are you getting Titan X's here? Yeah, we should get them in the spring next year, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, yeah. Got that one for today. I'm gonna get stickers for it. Awesome. Just, yeah, I'm excited to hear that you're coming up. You should do a little video for it. I don't know what it, what's up with you. You always come when the bite's tough. <laughs> I swear, every time, every time I like, do. Like, Greg's here, I'm like, oh, the bite's I know. tough. We need trash fish. Six inchers, yep. eight inchers, and in hitch. You got it. I'm told. It's the one we need to catch today right there. One like that. 
There's a dark one, there's the light one. Yeah, this guy right here. That might be more realistic. That's the one I'd be using. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I don't. That's for our little one, eight out, and that's for a big one, ten out. Cool. Yeah, all right. What's the biggest fish that's been caught out of Clear Lake this year that you've heard of? I caught a 12, and then also the other guy caught a 12. All right, so they're still there. If we're going to catch anything of size, it would be with Paul, or a guy, not not me. <laughs> yeah. I, it's just, this, he's pretty good this time of year, but I mean, it's just like grinding the bottom, and then like I said, you get that one bite, and you're like, I missed it, because you were going so slow all day, and you didn't set the hook all day, and then you get bit, you're like, oh my god, I should probably just set the hook right there. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you very much. Perfect. Have a great day. Yeah, we'll see you later, man. Looking forward to the video coming out. Yeah, it should be good. Hopefully a big fish in there, too. <laughs> see ya. Sorry, I kept changing my mind on how I wanted to park. <laughs> A real cameraman actually holding my little GoPro, so that's cool. No offense, Mike and Dutch. It's done. Walk through portion, as mentioned. Now, time to get her out on the water. Hopefully, slam her up with the first bass in the Titan X 10.5. Pretty cool boat. I'm impressed so far, but obviously, the real test is getting her out on the water and seeing how she performs. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick run through. I don't know how quick it'll be, but go over this boat, show you exactly how it's tricked out. I will say this, and you guys got to cut me a little slack. It's gonna take a while to get used to this. This is completely different that what I'm used to basically been in a Titan 10.5 the previous model for like five years now although similar size the layout as you'll see it's just totally different there's gonna be some tweaks and changes along the way we're gonna have to play with it see uh see what i like what i don't like but this is what we've got right now front hatch you can see we've got the lights the nav lights because it is motorized but big front hatch right here and this is where we're putting batteries we need a lot of juice for this boat so we've got a newport 36 volt 30 amp hour for motor battery one we've got another one in the back which i'll show you and then we've got a 12 volt 50 amp bioino battery just for the graphs the electronics the lights good little storage space for the batteries wiring of course is super clean let's just get right to uh the cool part i think this is the cool part something that i believe most people will be like whoa that's crazy that's different dual graphs we've got hummingbird helix nines one on each side you guys know me traditionally either i don't use a graph at all or i have a graph right here well you know the thought process with the two nines i was debating on it but for me kind of makes sense having them right here i mean you think of like uh like how you have your phone mounted in your vehicle you know you don't have your phone like down here where you gotta look at it all the time which is what i was doing here i was looking at my graph all the time you've got your phone mounted in your vehicle sort of in your your sight your field of vision this orientation i feel like especially with the bigger screens will allow me to keep the graphs in frame for me to see and uh, just again be more efficient on the water and that's really what it's all about with a lot of this stuff is being more efficient on the water it's not to like honestly though it sounds like or seems like it's not to like see how much stuff you can put on your kayak not to see how many things you can get crazy with it's really ultimately what makes fishing better more efficient more enjoyable and i think the dual graphs in certain situations will uh definitely play that part so hummingbird nines no clue how to use them we're gonna figure it out i guess on the water propel drive of course oh and by the way i didn't even mention the most important part this is not forward-facing sonar this is not live imaging this is for mega 360 one of the things i loved about my particular graph before that I used a ton was the side imaging i love down i love sonar but the side imaging was something that i really i guess felt like i could beef up a bit and it felt like the next step in the evolution of electronics and i'm not gonna you know get in the debate of electronics but for me the next step was to get side imaging but 360 degrees around the boat so obviously now i can see side to side and forwards and backwards as to what is around me. I don't know, that was my thought process for it. I think it's a good step and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it performs out on the water. And this right here is the mount that we have for the Mega 360. Pretty cool little deal. You slide this guy out, you pull this up, this drops right down like that. She's locked in place. Now you've got Mega 360, bring her up, slide it back in, locks in place. Nice and tucked out of the way. We've got the steering handle right here. 
I gotta mention and shout out Burley Pro. Burley Pro upgraded handle, of course. Really like their handles. Stock handles are great, but for me, I'm a little bit spoiled and kind of like the, the premium stuff. So we upgraded to a Burley Pro handle and rudder kit. It's the new drop down rudder system. Jump over. We've got the normal rudder in that position, but you can take this guy right here and actually drop your rudder down, get a little bit more control of your boat. Again, that's the Burley Pro kit that we upgraded to. I guess while we're on this side, oh, check it out. Foot controlled steering. We've got foot control steering with cables connecting all the way back to the triangle piece on the motor has little locking pins right here. Basically, these keep it set in place. And if you want to enable foot control, you move them back. And then with your feet, forwards, backwards, turns the motor. It'll be nice, I think, just for hands-free fishing. If you're fishing like the Delta, or you're just in some wind, you need to make minute changes with your rudder just to keep on track. This will be nice because we can just turn that motor on at a low power, control it with our feet. Might be nice to go up along the bank, fish the riprap, the toolies, whatever, and uh, not have to touch the rudder and keep your hand on the rod and reel so that is that lock these in place you guys have to forgive me i'm slow in this i don't know what i'm doing this is like completely new to me uh interior lights of course with the nav lights this all powers on lights and i believe i don't know what else it powers to be honest i'm still learning but those are our control panels right there a switch there and then you've got the battery control over there so we have two controls one for battery up front and the battery in the back is in this hatch right here. I'm not gonna open it, but it's another a Newport 36 volt 30, I believe. This guy is pretty cool. I wasn't sure, honestly, how I'd like the swivel seat. And I'm still not sure, because I haven't been in it, but I do think it's gonna be super helpful in just kind of reaching behind me for rods, getting tackle, making little adjustments on the water. You know, I don't like to just fish right in front of me. I like to make cast side to side, so. Obviously with that little bit of swivel, we'll be able to do that more efficiently and more comfortably. Got the junk drawer below, the propel drive, which will drop down. Right behind it, we've got sidekick wheels as an option for transportation. Of course, right now we have it on the dynamic dolly just because it's so loaded. This is the part that's not done yet or not finalized. We have another custom tackle trunk in the works, but right now in a pinch, got a black pack sitting back there for tackle. Not bringing much tackle today. It's clear like it's freezing. Hopefully they're just eating big swim baits or something. I'm excited. Our clear lake guide is here waiting for us on the water. That means uh, it's time to go fishing. Are you ready, Tyler? Ready. You ready to catch uh, some awesome footage? Let's do it. Swim bait <laughs> fish, giants. Sweet. Good. What's up, Paul? Got you a little way. Good, man. How are you? You had the spinning rod in your hand. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, you know. One of those days, or are we... Uh... So, I figured this is the corporate thing. We're not out here to look cool. Okay. If we need to get this done, we might need to pin a minnow on. That's okay. And get her done. That's okay. And you're throwing drop shot or whatever you got tied okay. on, and all of a sudden the minnow goes on there, they'll never know the difference. Right. Good well. to meet you, man. Good to meet you, Greg. Finally. How you doing? Yeah, man. No, man. Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, nice to meet Tyler. you. Hand me your stuff, and I'll okay. kind of drop it right down in here. Okay. okay. We got this awesome south wind today. Yeah. Dude, it was freezing. We've been I, here. I would imagine it was going cold on me. So I got some trash fish. Okay, good. Tied on a six inch. I got some eights with me. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't been getting bit on the eight. So okay. the 68's been the one. Okay. Seems to be... Game plan is to head in that way. There's okay. been a bunch of shad balls in there. They got fish all under them, bass swimming all under them. Let's just go see if we can get something cool in there. Okay. Because that's going to be our least battle of wind. Okay. That's why I kind of wanted to meet you guys here. We're going to get back down in there, you know, just throwing at shad balls. Okay. See if you guys can get it. Um, only other thing is I've never put this boat in the water. Okay. And it is a spaceship. I might need to just get it dialed. So if you start, if I do circles and stuff, yeah. uh, it's uh, not intentional. Yeah. yeah. I'll out. I'm going to go drop in okay. and yeah, I'll meet you guys out here and cool. you get, get stuff set up. Whoop. I'm just going to break the camera real quick. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, this is going to be a fun part. First impressions feels definitely just as stable as the Titan 
I think I might need a little more weight in the stern. I don't know, I can't tell if my nose is sitting down lower than it should or if it's just because it's a new boat. I have no idea how to work these graphs. Honestly though, right now the main focus is to go catch fish and we can play around with the boat on a later date. See, it is crazy comfortable. I do think I'm gonna like this swivel just to give me a little more free freedom, you know, range of motion. Throttle definitely is gonna have to come a little closer to me, I think. I like it tucked out of the way too. I'll have to try the foot steering. Everything is dry so far. Dude, I'm always so like nervous in a boat, like the, for the first time, just cause I want to make sure it doesn't sink first. <laughs> well, what do you think? Let's get on in there. Um, I'm debating Shad, cause Shad's blocked also from the wind. Or do we head back into that corner? Let's get back into that corner first. Okay. Alright, hang on. Oh. Jeez. Alright, NK300 time. We're at 30% right here. It's uh, going pretty fast at 30%. Let's try the foot control steering. Let's give it a whirl. sensitive. You don't have to push much to steer this boat. Perfect. Lock it up in there and just start firing all through there. What do you want me to throw out? Anything specific? I mean, throw your spinner bait first. Okay. Yep. Man, I wish I could get my electronics working. Damn. <laughs> Feels weird. I take it down. Okay. Okay. You want me out in like 15? No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Fish the holes up. They can okay. be out, they can be out. Gotcha. No net with me today. <laughs> Couldn't find a spot for it, man. I, right? I ran out of room. <laughs> Go 10 feet left, 10 feet right, kind of keep firing it out. You feel come up with it all or no? Uh, no. I'm, you know, this would actually be a... All new. Everything's new. Yeah. Yeah, dude, wait. Actually, I think it's working. Yeah. <laughs> when I dropped it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I've never had electronics like this. Oh man, it's, they're target finders for me. That's pretty much what they are. Yeah. Not so much fish finders, but target finders. Oh yeah, dude, that's why I wanted the Mega 360 instead of the Live just for now, just cause I love side imaging. I love knowing what's to my left and right. And yes. it's like, hell, why not know what's in front of me and back, and back yep. of me, like structure wise. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's right in front of me, right? 12 yeah, o'clock? Yeah, it's dead nuts, like 15 feet off the back of my boat. Right? Okay. Yep, I see it. Okay. Okay. Everything we want to do is uphill or parallel. Gotcha. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, if you need me to like stand or something, let me know. Um, or swivel. Yeah, maybe on the next cast. I mean, I can stand. You gotta show that stability, you know? It is stable. <laughs> I just got oh, bumped. I yeah, dude, I, I something hit it. It was one of those doop doop. Yep. Uh -oh. A little bit harder bite than that, and he's got it choked. Yeah. Whew. All right. Heart's racing a little now. You start doing that, they'll get out, get out. Like, no, <laughs> just get it. I know. <laughs> do, you, what do, you, do you think they're like following it, or they just kind of see it come by them? Yeah, I think it's just my opinion. 
I think the water's always dirty. They can't see more than three feet. Yeah. They're just sitting in the caves. And when that thing comes up in front of their cave, they run out and it's either they got it or they miss it and they turn right back in the cave. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I've heard some of his podcast. Oh, I got thumped again. Like, thumped. That was the real bite. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's wild. Dude, I got you. I'm telling you, it's the same spot every time. Every time, so just keep that line that you're doing. <laughs> She'll get it eventually. That was a good bite too, man. There ain't no way a blue girl's doing that. No. Alright. Just kind of let it blow out here. Actually, just give me one right over my head right here. I'm going to get out of here. Give me, give me out this one. Okay. That one get all the way down. Another 42 shot out there. Oof. All right. <laughs> Dude, you guys got to be patient. What you want, the last half of it is your juice. Like you've been noticing, the first cut, you don't really, and then once it starts getting into it, it's, it's almost straight up. You want me to tuck on those rocks? despite the cold and yeah. Who are you? What is up? How you doing? Good, how are you? We're doing okay. Dustin, the coach, hey. Tyler. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Greggy, how are you? Okay. Just, uh, we're here, man. Yeah. Not good news fishing-wise. No? Well, we went for the... we for the quality, not the quantity. They go around that way. Yeah, it, uh, we threw Huddleston all day. I think made a couple of casts with the spinnerbait in the morning. Yeah. And then just dragged a HUD on Shag and Henderson. Had four bites, but none of them took it. What time did you start fishing? Well, we had to do the kayak run through all morning. Dude, 12. 12 o'clock. I mean... It was process this morning. Anyways, now that the coach is here, you're here to save the day tomorrow. You're fishing tomorrow? Yep, I took the day off. I don't yeah. know if uh, Tyler knows this, but he's considered one of the best kayak fishing anglers in the country. Did not know that. It's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't think that's quite true. I'm in the top three in the Dark Horse Division. <laughs> well, you know, to be fair, we do like when we have tournaments and stuff. We there's a group of us that get together and we do like a little competition amongst each other, yeah. and we get like this goofy trophy. And he's won it the last two times, so he is actually decent. I've caught a fish or two in my day. You it's more than we've me. caught today. It is what it is. We got another day tomorrow, Coach. Thanks for bringing the pizza. No problem. We're the new Alden. Yeah, first time on the water with a Titan X 10.5. It was good. Everything was, uh, you know, for the first time on the water with a new boat, especially one as tricked out as this, it's going to be a learning curve and it's going to definitely take some time to get used to. And there's always mishaps on the water, but there really wasn't anything concerning today with the boat. I mean, a few tweaks here and there, just moving some stuff. I think there's a few areas I need to move, like accessories, just make things more easy to reach. Just the weight distribution. I think I've got too much weight in the front. There's three batteries, two big ones in the front. So the nose was kind of dipping a little. Uh, swivel seat, I didn't know if I'd really like it for a day on the water. I thought I would, but I can confirm that seat was really comfortable. Honestly, a huge upgrade compared to the previous seat. The uh, motor was fast, 5.8, hit 5.8 top speed with a pretty loaded kayak. Foot control steering was nice. It's more like toe steering. Like I found my feet on the pedals and it was more just kind of moving my, my toes. It was very small movements that actually turned the motor. So that was cool. Man, what else? I think we got everything except me catching a fish. We got bit. We got bit four <laughs> times on the HUD. I got to shout out Paul. I mean, he put us around the fish and I got more swim bait bites today than I've ever had in my entire life. They just weren't eating it. They were like slapping at it. Basically, we tried to get the Grand Slam. Tyler, what what are your thoughts on a Grand Slam shot? I mean, we got two days of fishing, right? It was worth the shot. If we got bit on it, it was 
probably going to be a good fish. Yeah, I've never caught a fish on a HUD, but then again, I've only fished it for probably an hour total. Yeah, we, we've seen your swim bait box. They're yeah. all in mint condition. Yeah, my HUD I've had for probably five years, and it's in mint condition. Pristine. I like to keep them nice. Any final uh, words, thoughts for today? Tyler, any thoughts about today? This is your second or third. You've done a few kayak fishing. The second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot went okay this morning. It went good. Got yeah, a bunch of good photos. Good photos. Yeah. Tomorrow is another day, one more final day of shooting. Hopefully we can get on some fish and really cap off the video, the content for not just myself, but native too. Tyler, get his uh, magic going. He's already started. I'm curious what he's got. A shot of you holding the fish would probably be <laughs> the best thing. Don't worry, when I catch one tomorrow, I'll yeah. pass it over to you. Just if he catches one, just go follow him. New we'll talent. Have, let's give you a black wig tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, another day tomorrow. We'll see you then. What's up, man? Good, how are you? We are golden to go fish. So underspin, yeah? Yeah, let's just go throw the bull baits around. Okay. All right, Clear Lake. Got a little pressure on you now. <laughs> Got something. I got something on. I don't know what I could have got though. Huddleston maybe? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> A weight? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna fall out of this kayak at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna get too comfortable. Right, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> well we got one for the box at least. Yeah. Right here, Greg. 80 feet. About there or a little further left? I'm watching your bait go down right now. Let's see. Nice and slow. God, we were five feet in front of his nose. It needed to be five feet. Oh, back. man. <laughs> Keep it coming. You got two more on your way now. Really? Yep. Slow? Kitty? Is that the video fish or what? That's the one. It looks like a bass. <laughs> I think it is a bass. Bluegill or something stuck in his gullet. Yeah, that. Oh. He's got a crappie stuck in his gullet right here. Look at this thing. Oh, this is our video fish right here. You caught it, Greg. He's got a giant crappie stuck in front of his <laughs> That's what the bluegills that they're eating. That's why we're throwing that. Oh my god. We're gonna save this dude's life and then we're gonna use him in the beauty. Well, yeah, let's see if we can revive him. Exactly. Let's go. We'll still him for a couple of like water shots. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at least so you've got Greg holding a fish. Yeah. And... Look at that. Look how fat they get. Oh my gosh. Look at the bluegill. Oh, that's the crappie that he's got. There we go. Can we just get it out? Yeah. You might need pliers. I bet you his, his fins are, are stopping Shame. him from coming out. Yeah. That's why they eat once a week. Oh my god. Right? Uh, yeah, he must have just ate that thing not very long ago. 
He's probably got like a spine stuck in his skin somewhere in there that we can't see. Oh. Got it, Greg. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Over rambunctious one right there. You want to weld him real quick? Yeah, let's weld him. Just so we got some cool pictures. Yeah. All right. Saved his life at least. Yeah. Okay. Now you won't feel so bad when I make you stick a book in his mouth later. Nah. <laughs> well, he owes it to us, right? Yeah. Man, you think if they're shallow in the rocks, they just just react to it, you know? Oh, I got one. Got one? It's a little. I'll play it so you can. You ready, Tyler? Yeah. Exactly. That was like the first cast too. Dutch is so happy right now. I can see him smiling. Hey, it's okay to do it because the fish we saved. <laughs> God, it's the reality of it, guys. We needed some fish catches, just super tough. We're running out of light, so we gotta give Tyler the shots he needs. You're gonna have to get a little creative. Nothing absurd, call it creative. I was telling him no to this last night. I was super confident I was gonna catch fish. Hey, he's the boss. Well, did we get the checklist for the most part? I think so. Not the fish catch. I think we nailed it. We kind of got the fish catch. We got the fish catch. <laughs> we got the fish catch. It is what it is. It's, uh, you know, it's fun though. I have to say it is actually pretty cool to grind out a swim bait for an extended period of time. It's something that I've tried in the past and I never, I never stick with it because I don't get bit. You don't get bit a lot, but it's cool to kind of be forced to fish it for a while and uh, get a few bites. Just they weren't capitalizing. So tough day, tough two days. Tough two days. Have you had scum film trips before? Oh no, am I your first? Yeah. Well, was it a total skunk you caught one thing? I did catch a dink, yeah. like an eight incher. How are you doing? I'm doing good because I caught fish today. He's lying. Insert pictures. Here. What were you doing? Dragging an underspin. Well, we should trade places next time. You get the boat, not me. I should have got the boat. Fun two days. Finally finished. Work has been complete. Well, you got a lot more work now. Yeah. My part's done. Kinda. I, I gotta dial that boat in. I, there's there's some things to, to do, to tweak, to add, to subtract. I really liked it though. I think it's gonna be a really, really good fishing kayak. And uh, just hopefully next time I put some fish in the boat. So that'll make it better. Guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. See you later.